I think this record probably means different things to, to different people. Um, I mean, hopefully it's, you know, really just kind of a, a bit of an experience, like a, you know, something that you kind of listen to from start to finish and, um, you know, it's almost like something that doesn't give you a chance to kind of walk away and do something else. You just listen to the whole thing almost as one sort of piece of music, or at least that's how we sort of intended it. You know, it, it's just got a detail to it that I guess, you know, we sort of were trying to bring to a lot of the songs that we were working on. Uh, more guitars, but then sort of more dancey as well and kind of more psychedelic, more vocals. You know, I'd like to think it's something that, you know, is, is really kind of cohesive as, as a record and something that, that, you know, sort of takes you on a bit of a, a voyage. It was a while ago, I think, when, when we started. It was initially like a studio project for me. Um, I hadn't really played music before, so really just kind of being a music fan, I was keen to just try my hand at, um, you know, writing stuff. And I guess started off just with a sampler and, um, and with like a couple of keyboards and a microphone and recording to my computer, just, just mucking around at home, I guess. I started working with Tim just like on some tracks. He played guitar and was a, was a friend. Um, that we just sort of, you know, just sort of hung out with. And he was probably a lot more indie than he is these days. <laughs> and yeah. uh, Mitchell was his housemate, I think, at the time, and um, I just bought a drum kit um, for like a hundred bucks or something, like, um, just to see if he could actually play it. <laughs> um, and just because of that, he seemed like the obvious choice. Ever since then, Cut Copy's sort of been a combination of, of live elements and also sort of studio electronic stuff as well. Still more or less the formula for our music. Mm -hmm. 